Last week, Bloxy team released an awesome feature for the Pro version. That is, they have a single template builder and archive template builder as a feature. What does it mean? Well, take a look. I created a portfolio custom post type and now I created an archive page for it. It's a custom archive page as you see this one here. Just as a comparison, this is a Bloxy regular archive page. But with help of the new feature, I created this one here. And also I created a custom template for the single portfolio page. As you see, there is a featured image, title, content on the left, and custom fields on the right. That is, I created a bunch of custom fields here, and I display them here. I have a navigation here and related products. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Bloxy Archive Builder and Single Templates Builder. I'm not going to show you how to create a portfolio site, but this video will give you an overview how to accomplish something like that. So if you're interested, then jump in because it's fairly easy to accomplish. Now, first things first, in order to create a custom template with the Bloxy, you need to purchase a premium version of the Bloxy. Here are the prices for the team at the moment. If you're interested, then take a look at the description of this video. There is a nifty 10% coupon for you. So, purchase yourself a pro version. Next, go to the plugins. Add new and install a Bloxy companion premium version. If you do that, then if you go to the content blocks, you are able to create those blocks. I'm going to deactivate my already created blocks. And first, I'm going to show you how to create your archive template. So, click on add new, give it the title, for example, portfolio archive. And now select, select custom template. From the template type, select archive template and create a content block. Now click on a Bloxy page settings icon and add display condition is include and select the post types you have. I have a post type portfolio here with the projects. So I'm going to select custom post types as project archive. Also, it's going to be project categories and it's going to be a project tags. Once again, it's a custom post type. If you're interested how to create a custom post types with a WordPress, then take a look at the description of this video. I have made a thorough tutorial about it. Also, if you're interested how to create custom fields without any plugins, then also there is a link to the video in the description of this video. Now the basic stuff is done. I'm going to deselect the default card layout here. And under the dynamic content preview, I'm going to select the already created a post just for a preview just for a, as an example there is a Danny boy project here I selected this one as a preview card and now you can use all the blocks WordPress provides you and also you can add some other add-ons or plugins to your site for example I'm gonna use cadence blocks plugin because it allows us to use dynamic fields and dynamic content at the moment, you see the pricing of this plugin. Once again, if you're interested, there is a 10% discount coupon for you. So take a look at the description of this video. Why do I use Cadence Blocks? It's because at the moment, if I open up WordPress default blocks, as you see, there is site title, logo, post title, post excerpt, post featured image, and so on. Blocks, and I can create a layout I like, but... I would like to be it a bit nicer looking. Therefore, Cadence Blocks provides me a bit more options. I'm going to search for image overlay here. That one. Next one, there is a title. I'm going to click on it and there is a dynamic content option here. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to select post title and current post as a content source, I'm going to add, add dynamic content. As a sub subtitle, I'm going to click on see details. Now I'm going to open up the overlay settings and there is a select image. I'm going to once again enable dynamic image and I'm going to select featured image. 
let's update it and now I'm gonna go to the site open up the portfolio here and there you go all those are here in order to keep the tutorial short I'm not gonna display how to customize all the elements here therefore I'm gonna skip a part and I'm gonna paste here the template I already created that is size ratio overlay opacity title sizes and so on and so forth and now if I update it and refresh the page it looks like this much better and if I click on it it's gonna open the single project page Bloxy allows me to add a filter up here if you don't know how to do that then open up the customizer now open your portfolio or whatever single post type you're using open it up and there is a post filter down below here I just activate it and customize it as needed simple yet effective isn't it now when this is done I'm gonna go and create a single uh, project page once again I'm gonna go to the content blocks add new single project page as a title I'm gonna select the custom template and single templates create content block open up the blocksy page settings display conditions include and it's this time it's gonna be a project single I'm gonna open up a Danny boy post once again as a preview now let's create the content for it first I'm gonna open up the feature post featured image as a block this block comes from the WordPress itself since it's a single product page I'm not gonna link it to the portfolio next I'm gonna add a title post title I'm gonna add a spacer from the cadence blocks I'm gonna align it to the left width is 100% if needed next I'm gonna create a row it's also from the cadence blocks I'm gonna select two equal columns next one I'm gonna open up a post content block this comes from the WordPress itself but I can also use a dynamic HTML that comes from the cadence blocks this time I'm gonna open it up and as a source HTML content is a post content this one so both ways are working well but with this block I can customize the text color heading colors and uh, all sorts of stuff stuff here next one I'm gonna show you that I have a bunch of custom fields here as said I have made a video about how to create the custom field without the plugin this time I have four of those here I'm gonna output them here with the cadence blocks I'm go not gonna show you how to do that in this video because it's gonna make this tutorial longer but once again I have showed it this in a previous video so instead I'm gonna skip a part and add it here so there are headings dynamic content for the post custom type meta fields and so on next I'm gonna add a row here with a two columns here goes the previous post link since I have a custom post type I'm gonna add a previous project and here goes the next project that means next project like this one here I'm gonna align it to the right I would like to use a nice arrow here before so I'm gonna just paste it here and another one goes here now you can customize it as needed you can add custom glasses here for example next link and also next link and later I'm gonna customize it with a custom CSS if needed now last one is uh, let's make a padding a bit smaller next one is a heading here advanced text related projects I'm gonna make a font size smaller this block comes also from the 
uh, cadence blocks. So it's going to be a 26 pixels. And since Bloxy provides me a short code for the post, I'm going to add a short code block with this short code. That means Bloxy post type is portfolio. Show me four projects without a pagination. The minus side of this solution is that I'm not able to link them with the categories or so. So those will be the random projects that are shown as related ones. Now I'm going to update it. Let's open up a Danny boy here. And well, there it is. Let's open up another one here. For example, this one. There you go. Now there is only a matter of tweaking here. For example, I can use CSS to tweak this line here or add some spacing here. I'm going to pause the video for a second and I'm going to show you what is the uh, end result. So I did it. Take a look, it's here. What did I do was I removed the spacer block here. I added a related projects class to this H2 heading here. And I added a small piece of additional CSS. That is, I added a small pat padding bottom here. Border is too big solid. And I made a two color border here. Color one and color two. And it took only a couple of minutes to accomplish. Now if I close it down, then I can visit the live site. Because of the custom field I used, I can navigate between the projects here. I can see the related projects. And if I open up the portfolio, I also have a nice archive page with a filter here. So as you saw, it wasn't as difficult to accomplish as one would think it is. Now, as I said before, I have created a couple of good tutorials on how to create a custom post types without a plugin and how to create a custom fields without the plugin. If you're interested, then take a look at the screen right now, because those are the two videos I mentioned before. Now, if you find this tutorial helpful, then press the like button. Otherwise, be safe and see you later.